Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. And as for today, we have finally an unboxing of some cards that I never had the opportunity to unbox, which are the Founder Edition cards from NVIDIA. First of all, I want to thank NVIDIA for sending these two cards, which are the RTX 4070 Super and the RTX 4080 Super. As for today's video, where we are only gonna unbox the RTX 4080 Super and tomorrow I will show you, or at least I'll release the unboxing of the RTX 4070 Super that is already unboxed here, by the way. These are the first cards that NVIDIA sent me and, uh, well, it's actually cool to have new cards to test and these cards, the Founder Edition ones, are really, really great in terms of design and they look, they look cool as hell. They, sincerely, they look cool as hell for what they are. But, but yeah, it's exciting to finally have some, some NVIDIA cards, the Founder Edition ones, on this channel in order to bring you guys more benchmarks, as I wanted to before. As usual, the unboxing is the unboxing plus the size comparison in between cards of other models and in the end we have some parts where I show you the card working properly, how it looks there, connected and running. That's basically what these unboxing videos are. So let's go into it, I guess. But before... Today's video sponsor is GVG Mo. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So here we are now on the unboxing part and like I told you this is the first uh, Founders Edition that I actually unbox, of course, because it is also the first card that NVIDIA sends me. So on the front we have uh, the NVIDIA symbol here, which is really hard to see because it is all black, just with a little bit of... Well, it doesn't even have the height, it's just like plain vinyl, but it looks pretty cool. So GeForce RTX 4080 Super, it looks actually pretty cool, at least in my opinion. Then on the sides we have basically nothing, just some barcodes here and some QR codes here on the back let me see the back and I'm, I'm putting it this way because it's actually quite heavy so that's why I'm I'm actually kind of managing hard or hardly managing <laughs> uh, getting the the box properly set up now we have basically the system specifications uh, as you can see, PCI Express graphics card slot required, of course. A system must have a space of X, 750 watts minimum PSU rating. Things included in the box, which is the GeForce RTX 4080, super. The PCI Gen 5 power connected adapter, so it's PCI Express um, Gen 5. And the quick start guide, and basically everything that we have now, it's it has to do with um, with the languages and so on. Some stickers here and there. And that's it. So in the top, which is actually which is actually the only part that has something else, is basically the design of the um, of the Founders Edition cards. On the sides, we do have this awesome design, like this on the box. It actually looks cool. If you see it side by side, it looks cool. Let me just show you once again. So yeah, looks quite cool. And now we have to tear in order to open it properly. And that's what I'm gonna do, I guess. So now opening the box, uh, it kind of opens this way and it looks really, really cool. The card size is actually, I have some reference cards from AMD, even the 7900 XTX. And the reference version compared to the Founders Edition is actually smaller than this card, considerably smaller. And I mean, the way they did the, the casing is just very, very nice. The only thing that I can say is that it looks much better in real life than it does in video. Uh, it is just very, very cool, the, the design, the way the, um, the box stands like this. I will also show you uh, some other angles in the, in the video, but it does really look fine, as you can see, does really look fine. Now let's take the card out, and this shit is massive. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> look at this, this is insanely massive way uh, I know I now know that why the box was actually quite heavy it's just not the cardboard although it is quite heavy as well but the card itself is just very very heavy the the quality the material quality feels very good I must say that it does feel very good definitely um, and overall the card is just very heavy and this 
is thick as hell. It's really, really thick, this GPU. And we have the usual design from the for, for the Founders Edition, which is basically one fan on one side and another fan on the opposite side in both ways. So on the opposite side this way and on the opposite side, one on this end and the other one on this end. So we have the fan and radiator. On this side, we have a bigger, a bigger part of radiator and the fan on the opposite side as well. So it actually looks cool. Even if you have, if you need to have the card like this, for example, with a splitter, with the splitter, uh, no, the vertical mounting, it still looks great even if you put it like this or if you put it like this. Although like this looks way better because, well, it is way stickier to the hands. That's what, <laughs> what we can see, but uh, it looks great. Saying RTX 4080 Super here. And once again, we have the fans on the side and um, the, PCI, the PCI Express Gen 5 connection in terms of power. Although it had some issues and it might, well, it might deliver you some kind of burned or meltdown cables. It happened before and I believe that it will keep happening according to some experts. Uh, in my opinion, at least for the 4070 Ti, it is working properly. But for, for some higher tier cards like the, the 4080 and um, the 4090, especially the 4090 because of the power delivery, it might cause some issues. In this case, the 4080 Super actually consumes uh, a, pretty, a pretty low amount of power, so I believe there, there won't be any issues. But I mean, in terms of fingerprints, this card really, really gets the, the, finger, the fingerprints attached really, really easily. Look at this. As for the other side, we only have the, um, the radiator. And once again, this is really, really thick. The card is really thick. And as for the inputs and outputs, well, we have the usual ones with one, two, three dis display ports and one HDMI. I don't know which version do we have. Maybe uh, since this is the super lineup, we might have DisplayPort 2.1 instead of DisplayPort 1.4. As for the HDMI, I believe it is HDMI 2.1. As for the DisplayPort, I can't really know for sure. But once again, the card looks really good. And by the way, with all the excitement, I even forgot to show you what we have more on the, on the box. Let me just open it, yeah. And we have this little box which should include the, yes, the power adapter. So the PCI Gen 5 connection that we have on the, on the GPU, 8-pin power connections to go to this one, the PCIe Gen 5 one. So basically that's what we have in the box. It's just the PCI connection and the card itself with some instructions here in case you don't know how to do it properly. So yeah, just put the card on the motherboard, then PSU, then monitor, yeah. This is the reference model of the 7900XTX. One thing that I bought it for is, is the size, because I can actually fit this GPU in every, in every, and I repeat, every single case that I have. And since I test CPUs with this GPU, I bought the reference version on purpose in order for it to fit any case that I want to test the GPU in. So that's a big plus that I, that I get. Now, in terms of Founder Edition versus Founder Edition, let's call them both that, Founder versus Founder. Look at this. It's just, it's just insane. I believe that you can see it maybe on video. It's not just as perceptible on video. But in terms of, of length, they are more or less on par. Of course, the 7900XTX is slightly, slightly smaller, but that's one of its, one of its upsides. Let's say that because this GPU can't fit in some, some cases, not all, but in some cases, while this one fits in almost every single case. But yeah, in terms of length, they are more or less the same. In terms of the fan size, look at the, the fan size. The fan size is incredibly different. So it's two fans versus one fan, of course, but still the fan size on the 7900XTX is much smaller. Uh, but I mean, once again, that's one of the points. As for the thickness and as for the width, let's say, if we're talking about width, the difference is like insane. Let me just grab, for example, um, a measuring tape. Well, this is centimeters, by the way. As for the width of the 7900, oh, sorry, I'm gonna scratch the card. But anyway, yeah, 10 centimeters. Let's say that around 10, 11, maybe. Yeah, and we're talking now about 12 centimeters instead of the 10, so around, two centimeters difference in terms of width alone. So just width, not depth, or we can call it depth if we're looking like this. Now, even on video, I believe that you can see it. The difference is massive. So look at this and look at this. In terms of centimeters, it's like five centimeters 
versus 7 centimeters. <laughs> and in terms of heat sink ability, this is huge. People that have the Fonder Edition do not need the AIB version because this thing is just massive. And once again, it looks great, so it's a win-win situation. But once again, let's see how it looks on the PC. And well, guys, as you saw, the 4080, the RTX 4080 Super is massive. I believe the cooler, the, the cooler is exactly the same for the 4080 and the 4090 as well. That's why we have such a massive cooler. And let me tell you that for the 4080, this massive cooler is absolutely not needed. We could have a way smaller cooler solution and it would still be more than fine for the 4080 Super because as you're seeing right now, when under volt, slightly under volt only, it can go as low as 280 watts. And the, such a massive cooler as, as this one for only 280 watts is just completely overkill. And that's why you see temperatures of, let's say, 60 degrees, sometimes even lower than 60 degrees, and even then you can't even hear the fan. So 60 degrees in near silent operation. That's how massive the RTX 4080 Super Founders Edition cooling solution is. Just massive. No noise, nothing even, <laughs> and the temperatures are really low, 60 degrees, let's say, at 280 watts power draw. As for the card looks, well, it looks great. Actually, once again, it looks great. But in terms of RGB, we actually have a white LED. I don't really know if we can change the colors. Maybe we can, but I'm not certain of that. But it has indeed uh, a white LED saying GeForce RTX and another small one in the top, basically in the back plate, in the top of the card in this case, um, where you have just a little stripe, a little white stripe as well. So the only RGB effects or the only LED effects that you, that you have are those with the GeForce letters, the GeForce RTX letters, and once again, that little white stripe too. So it is very, very minimalistic and it will look great in some computers with only black and white schemes because this card, once again, focus on that exact color scheme, black and white, and it does it very well. And well, guys, that's all for today's unboxing. Just what it is, basically an unboxing with some size comparisons and some show-offs of the card. As for benchmarks, they will come soon. I will start benchmarking this card at 4K, firstly at 4K, then I'll test it at 1440p as well with the 40 games benchmark. So we're gonna have a 4K video and the 1440p video with 40 games. And then I'll test the RTX 4070 Super as well in 40 games at 1440p. Uh, and after that, we'll start the GPU comparisons. In between that time, when I'm when my brother, for example, is testing the other GPU, I will be doing the CPU comparisons. So I'll, I'll be working on that. He's currently testing some CPUs, and I'll be doing that in specific. As for today, we're gonna have another video as well with the driver only versus minimal install versus full installation on the NVIDIA side. When I did this one that you're seeing right now on the screen for the AMD people, well, they actually asked me to do the same for NVIDIA using NV Clean install and so on, and so we did. And today that video will be released. Thank you very much. See you soon, I guess. And yeah, that's all. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Cheers.